a few years ago, uh, you know, Mark Adams and Mark Hicks, they both, you know, left us uh, within the same year, I think it was. It was pretty devastating in their young 50s unexpectedly. Um, you know, how did that hit you? And if I'm not mistaken, time-wise, I think it's sort of uh, around the same period of time that you kind of started coming back to popular music. Is there any relationship or just a coincidence? Well, yes, I was starting to come back into popular music and we were talking, as a matter of fact, two days before Mark Adams passed, he called me on the phone. We had been talking in prior weeks about doing some music together again. And he played for me. He says, this is what I'm working with, Arrington. And he had a drum machine and he was playing this crazy bass line. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. he says, I'm going to call you in two days on your birthday and wish you a happy birthday. That was March 5th. Now, I didn't call him back that night because he said he was going to call me for my birthday. And then I was going to tell him how crazy that bass line was that he played for me and left on, uh, you know, my voicemail. Right. It's crazy. It's like killing. And I'm so March 5th comes around and I see it's this number and I'm about to tell him, yo, man, that was sick. That baseline you played for me, bro. And it was his girlfriend telling me that he was dead. He had been killed wow. on my birthday. Wow. And it was like, wait a minute, what? He had been murdered. So every time I have my birthday, I also think about the passing of the great Mark Adams. Um, in which we were talking about getting back together and doing music together, and, and he was gone on my birthday. So, but we had talked and gotten back together conceptually, what we'd like to do some new music together, and so on and so, so forth. So, before he passed, you know, we we were at a cool place in terms of what the future could possibly look like. Um, Mark Hicks, um, he had been out doing uh, Slave when you know he had his own units as Slave. For the longest time, he was the only one out there representing the group. You know, I was off the scene completely, and uh, I come back to the scene and not as Slave, but as Steve Arrington and that Mark Hicks was doing his thing. Um, it was just two months later, Mark Hicks is gone, just out of the blue. Um, you know, these are people that we grew up together, you know, 15, 14 years old, you know, um, and they're gone so young. Um, and you know we were talking about getting back together and then you know they're gone and it just let me understand you know just how fleeting this thing called life is and you you need to let people know you love them and you care about them and you know let people know give them their respect while they're here don't wait till they're gone show people love while they're here i'm just glad that my brothers and I were at a cool place where we were just excited about, you know, the, the concept of perhaps doing music together again. That being said, them as individuals, so unique, there'll never be another Mark Adams or Mark Hicks. They're totally, totally unique cats. Um, and I'm just happy to have shared this journey called life with them for the time they've had here and what they've done for me in my life and in, been such a blessing to me in so many ways. I'm glad that I uh, was able to make records, be friends, study, um, be on tour, uh, share tough times together, share, share hurts and pains together, triumphs. I honor the time that we spent together and I honor them until God takes me home and it's my time to go.